Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Head on over to cardkingdom.com to pre-order your Zendikar Rising cards today. Hey friends, it's Somer, and I'm back with another quick list for you. Here are five green EDH hidden gems under $5. I define hidden gem as any card that sees less than 1% representation in decks found in EDH Rex database, and I've sorted them into lists because, well, people really like lists. With that out of the way, let's get started. Number one is Gaia's Touch. People like obscure old school gems, so here's one for mono green players. Gaia's Touch lets you play an additional basic force from your hand each turn. You can also cash in the enchantments to generate two green mana like a ritual. Think of it as an exploration, except it costs one extra mana, and it's limited to mostly mono green decks. Despite the restrictions, a 2 mana exploration is still a great rate for this effect, and the ritual effect if you need to ram something big is a nice perk. It also helps that Gaia's Touch is under $2 while Expiration is still under $18 even after its recent reprint, so you're saving a good chunk of change. Any mono green deck should seriously consider running Gaia's Touch. It's great ramp in decks full of basic force, and it has especially good synergy with Nissa, Vastwood Seer, Multani, Yavamaya's Avatar, and Omnath, Locus of Mana. Number two is Kenrith's Transformation. Even if budget isn't a factor, Kenrith's Transformation is one of the best targeted creature removal options in green. As many Magic players recently learned from other formats, turning your opponent's best creatures into an elk is incredibly powerful. And in Commander, it's even more powerful as elking a commander doesn't cause it to leave the battlefield, so your opponent can't send it back to the command zone and be recast later. Instead, it's cursed to roam the battlefield as a helpless elk, denying your opponents the use of their commander's abilities until they manage to either destroy the elk or the enchantment. This super powerful effect costs only 2 mana which is a solid rate, but what really sets this card above similar options is it draws you a card. Top tier removal at 2 converted mana cost and draws you a card is just too good to pass up on. Kenrith's transformation is good in any green heavy deck, especially ones that don't have access to white or black for even more efficient creature removal options. Since it's an aura, it synergizes particularly well in enchantress decks such as Siona, Captain of the Pileas, Eutropia the Twice Favored, and Tuvasa the Sunlit. Number 3 is One with Nature. One with Nature is one of the most efficient ramp engines in the format. Once you've ramped out a single basic land with its triggered ability, this aura is essentially a half price rampant growth that has already paid for itself. Any more ramp triggers beyond the first then becomes absurd value for just one green mana. Of course, there are some hoops you have to jump through to get this reward. You need to enchant a creature, and that creature needs to deal combat damage to a player, so you generally want to run one with nature in a deck running a decent amount of creatures that have some form of evasion. But the juice is definitely worth the squeeze, friends, as it's easy to get tons of value out of this one mana enchantment. I love one with nature in a whole bunch of green decks. As an aura, it's an obvious inclusion in enchantress decks like Siona, Captain of the Pileas. You can get extra triggers per turn cycle when slapped onto Tongarth, First Mate, and it triggers Gargos Vicious Watcher, removing blockers from the equation. Number 4 is Compost. Here is yet another old school color hoser popping up in my list. Compost is a cheap 2 CMC enchantment that can draw you an absurd amount of cards when facing opposing black heavy decks. Some of the most popular strategies in black involve sacrifice like Mirren of Clan Nail Toth and self mill like Sir Conrad the Grim, which usually means that they'll be dumping tons of black cards into their graveyard and drawing you tons of cards in the process. The power of compost is largely dependent on your personal meta. If you're not playing against any black decks, then this is a dead card, but against one or more black decks, this enchantment will be a huge draw engine. I think the risk is definitely worth the reward, unless you know your playgroup runs few if any black decks. Compost is a fine inclusion in any green deck. Since it's an enchantment, it's strongest in enchantress decks like Siona, Captain of the Pileas. It can trigger from discarding as well, so it's great in Nath of the Guilt Leaf. But my favorite home is Farika, God of Affliction, since you can give your opponents black snake creature tokens and then draw cards when they die. So it's never a dead card in any game. Finally, we wrap up the list with number 5, Invigorate. Invigorate is a card that way too many people sleep on in Commander. Since having a forest in play and giving an opponent 3 life is a negligible cost, 
Invigorate is basically always a mana free spell that gives a creature plus 4 plus 4 at instant speed. Now I know that doesn't sound like much on its own, and that's true, but the beauty of this card lies with how well it synergizes with other green cards. Green has a ton of powerful staple cards that are keyed off your creature's power or toughness. By boosting the creature for free with Invigorate, you can draw 4 more cards off Return of the Wild Speaker, generate 4 more mana off Sylvala Heart of the Wilds, or effectively give a creature plus 8 plus 8 after Xenagos God of Revels doubles its power and toughness. In many green decks that scale heavily off power and toughness, Invigorate is a powerful free way to boost other cards. It's an all-star in Gargos Vicious Watcher, Sylvala Heart of the Wilds, infect decks like Sasuke the Unyielding if you're super evil, and so much more. I've been slipping Invigorate into more and more green decks and it never disappoints. And that's all I've got for now. There's many more hidden gems to find, so if you've got any good ones that you'd like to see appear on a future list, then let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, friends, see ya! Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, help us out by clicking the like button down below. And to keep up with the latest and greatest, make sure to click the subscribe button. And if you want to watch similar videos, click on the links appearing on screen right now.